Hey sweet friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Sel. Today's video is bathroom cleaning and organizing. I cleaned up the clutter and organized my son's bathroom before back to school starts so that everything is in order and it's a bit easier for him when he's getting ready and using the bathroom. If you're in need of house cleaning motivation, then stay tuned and clean with me. Let's get our house chore done together. I recently just cleaned the clutter and organized my son's bedroom and his closet as well so if you want to check that video out after this one, I will link it in the description box below for you. So I started by taking the shower curtain down so I can wash it. I'm going to get rid of the plastic one since it's over a year old and it's starting to turn different color. This used to be clear and it's looking like yellow now. There are some sticky tape on the bathtub floor and I was finally able to take this out this time. I have tried to do this a few times before and I couldn't take them off. They were so sticky. I even broke a couple nails trying before but I guess since it's been there for a while and getting soaked when I'm cleaning the bathtub it finally came off when I tried it this time and I still broke a couple nails even when I used a tool to help me lift it up the bathtub floor but I'm just so happy those tape are gone so I can actually clean and scrub the bottom a lot better I'm going to spray the whole bathtub with the kaboom after taking all of this tape off and the scent is really strong so if you see me wearing a face mask that is why. If you are new here to my channel I just want to officially say hello and welcome. I am so glad you're here and cleaning or hanging out with me today. My name is Sel. I am a wife and a full-time working mommy of one. If you like and enjoy contents about realistic cleaning motivations like this one, satisfying home organizations and mom blogs, I upload those kind of videos every Friday so be sure to subscribe and don't forget to turn your notification bell on so you wouldn't miss any of my future uploads. And if you are a returning subscriber and friend, I just want to say I truly appreciate you and your time. Thank you so much for coming back and I am so happy you're here again. While I'm waiting for the kaboom to work, I did wipe down the bathroom mirror. It has lots of handprints cause my son likes to touch this while it's wet when it's steaming after his shower. He'll write or draw something. I use my Eclat glass cleaner and this works wonder for that and leaves no streaks at all. I have been seeing and hearing good things about this pink stuff so I wanted to try it. I got mine from Walmart. A lot of people says it's good for the bathtub and sink. I did try this here with scrub daddy sponge to really deep clean and scrub the sink and the bathroom counter. It did clean it really well but I noticed that the counter looks really dry after I wiped down everything so I went ahead and wiped it down again with Mrs. Meyer's multi-purpose cleaner in the scent honeysuckle to kind of moisturize the counter I guess after I cleaned it and it helps in my opinion it looks less dry after I did that. I have to say though I like this pink stuff better for the bathtub and inside the toilet. I think it made so much mess using this on the bathroom counter and it made my cleaning take longer than it normally takes me.
show me my way in The only point I reach is frustration And then back again, then back again Trying, trying to see why I had to lie in Go around the moon with your heart in Then back again, then back again After cleaning the bathroom mirror and counter, I'm now going to scrub the bathtub. I rinse the kaboom with water first, then I use the pink stuff and the same sponge to scrub it. I just want you to fire me into the sky.
I'm using Swiffer wet jet pad to mop the floor. This is what I like to use for the bathroom when I'm cleaning the floor since it is disposable. I also did finish the last of the Clorox wipes that I used to wipe down the toilet bowl and there is some cleaning liquid left in the container so I just throw the liquid on the floor to use to clean and sanitize it. After cleaning the bathroom, I organized the sink the next day. It is a mess down here. I've been meaning to get this cleaned and organized but I just now got this done and it feels good to get this out of my list that I need to organize in our home. This is the fun part for me. I don't mind cleaning at all. I don't hate it but 
I also don't really enjoy it as much as I enjoy organizing. To me, organizing an area or space is pretty much giving it a makeover and I get to see the satisfying before and after result. It does get overwhelming for me at first especially if it is a big mess but it is all worth it at the end after I'm done. Let me know in the comments down below if you like cleaning more than organizing or vice versa. I'm using this contact paper that I got from Target to put liner under the bathroom sink and the drawer to give it a nice touch. I love this print. It is neutral and really pretty. I use the same liner in our kitchen under the sink.
So these are the organizer beans or baskets that I'm going to use for under the sink. I did not buy anything new for here. These ones are supposedly for drawer organizer. I got this out from my closet drawer when I cleaned and organized it. I will link that video for you as well in the description box below if you want to check it out. But as I'm saying, I got this out from my closet drawer. I just didn't want to use this for that area anymore. So I just have this hanging out in our guest room thinking I'm going to donate this if I don't use it anywhere else. So I tried this here and I like how it looks and I think it's going to work here. The white basket, we already have those in our home and I got those from Walmart a long time ago when we still live in our old home. I used those white basket to organize our linen closet in the old house but since we don't really have the linen closet here in our new home then we have lots of extra and then i also put up this plastic bag organizer with the command strip on the cabinet door i did get this from i think tj max or home goods a long time ago i just like i forgot about this honestly and then i went in the guest room because we have all of our um extra stuff in the guest room it's kind of like the storage now and i found this so i used this for this bathroom and it is perfect because it now looks clean and tidy in here I found this cleaner inside this cabinet and at first I thought it was a window cleaner but it was actually a multi-purpose cleaner. It's a method brand in the scent lavender and I smell it and I really like it so I wanted to um, actually use this because I completely forgot all about this but I don't want to waste this so I'm going to use this for multi-purpose cleaner so I would probably not have to buy any multi-purpose cleaner in a long time so this is a good find for me I honestly completely forgot about this <laughs> And then I organize everything under here by category. In one basket, I have all of the cleaner and then the other one have all of the paper toilet and then so on and so forth. I'm going to show you later the end result. And I use this chalkboard that I got from Hobby Lobby to label this and also my Dymo. I was going to write something on the chalkboard but then I realized this is a bathroom and usually when I'm grabbing something here my hands are wet especially the cleaner so it's probably just gonna like erase the chalk so I just use the Dymo and put it on top of the chalkboard sign.
be free of this heart. Yeah. Wanna feel your arms around me. I need you more, need you here, more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow. Yeah. Should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again? Hold you tight, call you mine Think about you every time I remember that it's over there's only one drawer in this bathroom and I want to use this to put all of the things that he uses on a daily basis including the comb, his hair gel, the gloves. I use that all the time when I'm cleaning the toilet. And then I also put the, his um, toothbrush in here. Those used to be on the counter but I really don't want a lot of stuff on the counter anymore because it looks um, a lot messy and just looks really cluttered so i just want to put all of those in the drawer and then in this medicine cabinet we only have like a few items like extras that doesn't really have a home and i also put the cotton here and the q-tips for when we have people come over these are the bathroom that they will be using as well uh share with my son so they might need like cotton balls like i said and then q-tips my son don't really use those at all so that's why I just put those here on top because he doesn't need to grab it. Every once in a while I would use it for him, but I can just grab that myself. Yeah. You never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. I can't stop. Yeah, yeah. trying hard to pretend that I'm okay it's just a phase and everything is going just great I think about you a lot it's almost like I can't stop can't stop yeah yeah I always knew that this would happen yeah you would find a new distraction I need you more need you here and I would like to admit Can we let go of tomorrow? Yeah You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you a lot and this wraps up this video friends i hope you find this motivating and helpful i hope i inspire you to get up and tackle your own mess at home or your to-do list of house chore and if i did please don't forget to give me a big thumbs up it does help support my channel and it also lets me know you want more videos like this comment down below and share this to a friend to inspire them as well if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and turn your notification bell on so you won't miss any more of my future uploads thank you all so much for watching and hanging out with me today i truly appreciate you and your time spent with me and i will talk to you all again on my next video bye